What is up guys? I am a little withdrawn right now. Today is my last full day in Mockern House. It has been a true pleasure to spend time here and become inspired, learning about filming, learning about myself, you know, going through struggles, going through these mental hoops, going through these challenges. It's been a wild experience. And what's crazy is I think it's just beginning. <sighs> Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my room. So what was the best thing about being here at Makran? <sighs> It's a good question. I think that Makran is honestly one of the most inspirational places. Being a European hub, so we could travel to different parts of Eastern Europe, but always having a home, always being able to be here in this beautiful area, always able to come here and know that this is home. Also the people that work here. The people here are phenomenal individuals. They're so dedicated to their work. It truly is <laughs> incredible. <laughs> So what was the most difficult thing being here at Makran? Probably the close proximity I had with my brother. No offense to my brother, of course, but we're brothers and we fight sometimes. Of course, none of this could have been possible without my brother. I mean, my brother brought me here. He's taught me some incredible lessons while I was here. He took me under his wing. And although I don't always agree with him, maybe sometimes I can perceive that he's an he is an amazing human being, and I love him very much, and I, I greatly appreciate that he has given me this wonderful opportunity to create, to build. He has let me borrow his equipment. He has taken his time and sat down with me to give me these lessons, to explain how reality works and how it's possible to augment reality. After this month and a half, I have a little Cedric in my head, and every situation I go into, he says things that Cedric would say, Kendall, what if we were living in a simulation? You have control, Kendall. Say it in your head, say it again with fewer words in your head, and then say it out loud. Kendall, I want you to give me more brain juice. Have a sense of urgency. Kendall, remember to breathe. Kendall, you're taking away my brain juice. Kendall, we're living in a simulation. Kendall, one day I'm gonna build a space elevator. <laughs> As you can see, there is a beautiful bed here. And if I get bored with that one, <laughs> I can just go to that one. <laughs> and sometimes I jump from one bed to the other. I would also like to say this shower is amazing. Is it just me or do people come up with the most brilliant ideas in the shower? Let me know in the comment section below. Oh cool, look at all the shampoo they have. Whoa. I mean, besides the retainer, that's mine. <laughs> miss these stairs. I will miss my vine-covered sleeping quarters. I will miss the convenient water dispensaries. I will miss this little guy. I will miss the beautiful interior design. I'm gonna miss this building. I will miss the lounge areas. I'm gonna miss this dining area. I'm going to miss this pear tree. I'm gonna miss this guy. I'm gonna miss this awesome fireplace. I'm going to miss these steps. I'm gonna miss this chair. I'm going to miss this big metal building. I'm gonna miss this library. I'm gonna miss this beautiful garden. I am really gonna miss these wild bathrooms. I'm definitely gonna miss this fire pit. I'm gonna miss these crazy cool windows. I'm gonna miss this old brick building. I'm gonna miss this pool room. I'm gonna miss the most cared for lawn in northern Serbia. 
I am going to miss these stairs. I am definitely going to miss this bamboo. I am going to miss this lounge. I am really going to miss the jet pool. Don't even get me started on the jacuzzi. I am really, 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 really going to miss this espresso machine. I am really going to miss the locals. I am going to miss these bicycles. I am going to miss this playful basket. I am going to miss these trees. I am really going to miss these guests. <laughs> I'm going to miss my tanning bed. I am really, really going to miss this food. got done with lunch. Feels kind of surreal leaving this place. I learned so much here. I've done so much. I'm really gonna miss it. But I'll be back next year. Wouldn't it be great every year to come back? Every year to explore the deepest parts of your mind, of your heart. Wouldn't that be great? Dobrodan. This can possibly be a seasonal place for me and my brother to come annually and explore the deepest parts of our minds, the deepest parts of our hearts. How amazing would that be to have this sanctuary, to be able to concentrate, to be able to access points in our minds that are only accessible through an environment that fosters this type of thinking ability. <laughs> They say life is a series of lessons. Humans learn by making mistakes. For the last 28 years, I've been making mistakes. I've been learning. For the last 28 years, I've been through different situations. I've seen so much. This career in the medical field, a serious injury that I sustained. These circumstances, these events in my life have made it possible for me to see the truth, the truth that lies inside of me. It has allowed me to access information that I otherwise wouldn't be able to see. It's been an incredible experience to understand what's truly meaningful for me. To give up my career in medicine, that was so difficult to do. But it was being true to myself. It was being true to me. And that is what is truly important in life. It's to be true to yourself. I mean, who are you if you can't be yourself? Are you a follower? Are you, are you someone who just does what society wants you to do? I think it's important to release that inner mantra, that inner life that you have. You know, we all have it. And sometimes it's put to sleep. Look, we only have this one life. Why not access that beauty that lies within each and every one of us. Why not? <laughs> The food here is so good. I just want everyone to take a look at this amazing food. Do you see this? Do you see how fresh this meat is? This produce was grown right here in the garden. Look how fresh, look how delicious. <laughs> There was a wasp. He wanted to celebrate with us. <laughs> Dude. What's up, you beautiful people? Guys, I am just super excited right now. You're not gonna believe this. I just got two Patreon donations. Check this out. Wow, I can't believe it. Uh, getting some sort of support for doing what I absolutely love, just spreading the love around. I think it's beautiful. Passing this beautiful positive message around, guys. That's all I really wanna do. Thank you guys so much for your support. Man, you guys are great. Thank you so much.
I absolutely love this place. There are so many smart people. Let me introduce you to one of them. So what's your name? My name is Boya Nagaiski. And what are you going to show us? Well, they have some books here that I translated. So you translated some of these books? Yes. Show us. Well, here. They have some stories here. Wow, what is uh, this about? It's, uh, this is called uh, Bunker. Uh, there was um, a literary magazine in Geek in the Cold uh, Bunker. Wow. Which we, I worked for. How long did it take you to translate these? Well, these are just stories that didn't take too much time, but I also translated some novels, and that takes about from three to six months. Wow. Yeah. For one book. <laughs> For one book. Pretty awesome work. Good job, Boyana. Thank you. <laughs> Just riding the back through my friend such a lovely day man I know this is gonna be one of my last bike rides here in Mokrin oh my god pothole holy <laughs> I mean I mean great great the roads aren't built like they are in in the States but it's kind of nice it adds to the flair you know what I mean I love this place it's a beautiful place there's so much culture here I'm going to this field that I love to go to to just de-stress and just regenerate so I'm pretty excited about that. Get some meditation. It's a great place to see the sunset and right now I really I really just need to see something beautiful. My brother's been giving me these tasks all day and they're not exactly the easiest. Actually, they're they're very easy. It's just my brother's a little difficult sometimes. I mean, remember what I said about my brother initially? Yeah. It's all good though. All is well. <laughs> So check it out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a railroad right over there. There used to be a big railroad that used to go through Mokrin years ago. It's pretty sweet. Oh, look at these beautiful cows. This is the food that we've been eating lately. Grass-fed beef, Serbian style, delicious. Holding a selfie stick and riding a bike is not easy over a prolonged period of time. All right, just changed hands. All is well, all is good. going on guys I'm here in this beautiful field it's just me and my shadow when I was younger I used to try to catch my shadow so they put me in a special class but it's all good it's so quiet here peaceful calm serene it's a good time to reflect it's a good time to be still it's a good time to meditate a good time to breathe and a great time to dance <laughs> Laughing, dancing, feeling, love. These are things that are important to us. I once had an old wise man tell me something. He said, all emotions, all thoughts, all ideas are based off of one of two things. Fear or love. Which one do you choose? I bet you guys know which one I chose. <laughs>
it, mate. I don't know. Uh, well, it's, uh, well, it's, uh, well, it's a little dark. It's a little dark. And, uh, well, it's getting dark and I have no idea where we are. I don't know where I am. I don't know. <coughs> Little Willie, where in the world am I? I'm in the Highlands. I don't know where I am. I don't know. Where am I? I don't know where I am. William, hello out there. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go that way. It's like a small town. I don't know, I'm freaking out. <coughs> I'm now going home, I am. It was a lovely day, it was a lovely night, and I didn't sustain a fright. When I come, when you see, there is no other person than me. Bicycle leaving now. <laughs> Great airport going to get the tickets and bounce to Amsterdam. I've lost so much weight on this keto diet that my pants are just falling off all the time. It's kind of embarrassing. I don't know what to do. I love going past the Victoria's Secret. I don't know if it's because I'm vlogging all the time, but I saw a lady with what I thought was a selfie stick and I ran up to her and I was like, oh, cool, check out my selfie stick. And she actually didn't have a selfie stick. It was a broom, strange. So you may ask, Kendall, why are you and your brother going to Amsterdam? Because we want to explore the geographic and cultural region. That's all, I swear. Yeah.